This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, like YouTube algorithm and stuff, so you get the videos I put them out. So you know what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data, but like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I mean, it gives a false narrative of the market, so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, AMC has 150,000 counterfeit shares available to short this morning. Okay, as of this recording, it's about, I think about 8.30 a.m., on the 28th and i'm going to tell you something yesterday the volume was 14.7 percent and out of that volume 66.5 percent of that was shorted shares now if all day yesterday there were probably what 300,000 shares available to short how did they have 9.7 million of the volume be shorted shares how is that mathematically possible? Especially after all these months where retail, retail owns the float. And we have learned, well, a majority of us has learned not to lend out our shares. So where are they getting all these shares to short? And the shares are not even listed because they only had about 300,000 shares to short all day. But somehow... 9.7 million shares were shorted of AMC yesterday in the market. It is absolutely criminal behavior on a next level. The SEC is fully aware. FINRA is fully aware. And, and it, I, I've never seen this level of criminality in any other industry anywhere else in the world. I mean, it, it, it's really next level level outrageous and according to stock tracker the cost to borrow on those 150,000 shares is 197 percent but here's the thing here's the thing they're stating that there's 201 million shares that are shorted and they're just talking about real shares they're not talking about the counterfeit shares because as I tell y'all every day, and this is just my opinion, I'm not saying to buy, hold, or sell AMC or A, but the numbers they released us is to support their narrative. And if these numbers are as terrible as they appear, the real numbers are a whole lot worse when you take into account the billions of counterfeit shares that I believe to exist. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that they're able to find 9.7 million shares to short of AMC when all day yesterday they only had 300,000 shares available to short? Is this the crime of the century in real time? And does the SEC even care? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.